Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a update twin flame reading for the collectives. Hi, everybody. How are you? Let's tap into this energy like we always do. Let's see if it changed. Let's see if it stays the same. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're man maintaining this thing called life on this twin flame journey. Spirit, join me at this table to tap into the energy of the divine feminine, divine masculine energies. See if it changes, see if it stays the same. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. First position is the hermit. Mm. The second position is the emperor. Okay. Ten of swords. Three of cups. Eight of coins or pentacles. Okay. Page of wands. Okay. Let's move that over so you can see that. Can everybody see that? Okay. We got the Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have the Ace of Cups. What is going on? Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Now, y'all know Aces is good, honey. Six, I'm sorry, Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have the Temperance. We have Eight of Cups. And we have Ten of Coins, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, give me a minute. Let me look this over. Get my water. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me see. We got... Okay, so we have three major arcanas, a hermit, emperor, and a temperance. Three major arcanas. Okay, so that's a good sign. Spirit is old is reading. Okay, your first position is the hermit card. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Major arcana. Virgo energy. You or yourself could be a Virgo. <sighs> you may have cut your person off. You may not be speaking to them right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you guys may not be speaking at the moment. Yeah, you went into hermit mode. And you went into hermit mode to re-evaluate re some shit. Yeah, you walked away or you shut down because this person, um, this there was no reciprocity. This person didn't reciprocate. You know, you felt like you were the only one in this relationship. You felt like you were the only one invested in this relationship. You felt like you were the only one wanting this, the only one trying to make this work, trying to make this develop into a successful relationship. And you got tired of that, so you, you just pulled back your energy, just shut down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Earth energy, yeah. And this is who you shut down from. You were dealing with... Uh, our emperor energy. You could have been dealing with an Aries. You could be an Aries yourself. Mm -hmm. This person could be married with children. Not necessarily, but they could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a very controlling person, a boss. This person doesn't take... Um, this person doesn't take orders from anyone. This is the boss energy. This, this is Mr. My Way or the Highway energy. Very controlling. Uh, person, very controlling person. This person is always trying to control because that's what they do. They're the boss. They are, they, you know, the emperor is above the king. So this is a high roller. This is somebody that is very success, very successful. Got it going on. Don't want for nothing. Everybody bends over to kiss his ass or or her ass or you know cater to her or you know everybody's trying to win this person's attention. 
Everybody wants to be in this person's face. Everybody wants to stroke this person's ego. Okay, this is like the uh, the hero of the bunch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very controlling energy, trying to control everything, especially their emotions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This per you walked away from this person. Mm -hmm. You walked away from this person. Yeah, this this became too much for you. But I tell you what, I tell you what, honey, who it really became too much for, and that's the person that you walked away from. Mm -hmm. This was too much for them. You left. This was a very painful ending for this person. Yeah, this was a blow to their ego. This was a big time blow to this person's ego. Remember, this is the boss. This is headliner. This is everybody kisses my ass. Everybody wants to be me. Everybody wants to be with me. I'm the star of this show right here. And you walk away from me? You leave me hurt? What? Who do that? Who did that to me? Nobody do this to him. Nobody do this to her. You understand? This has been a very painful ending for this person. They didn't think that you had it in them to walk away from them or leave them. And you meant it, you know, and mean it. You know what I mean? This has been very devastating to this person. This has been tremendously devastating to their ego. Mm, 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 mm. Because no one has ever treated them the way you treat them. You treat them like they're human. You don't treat them like they're some superstar. You don't treat them like, you know, you don't put them on that pedestal above everybody else. Mm -hmm. You keep this person grounded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, no one has ever showed this person this kind of love and this kind of kindness and this kind of realness that you treated, that you showed them, you know. This person took you for granted. They assumed that you will always be there waiting and pining over them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you took it for so long. You tolerated their, cr their fuck shit for so long. And now you're not. And now they're baffled. Mm, excuse me. Now they're baffled. This person was very arrogant. Very self-absorbed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very egotistical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now they're very hurt. And their ego is deflated. Okay? This person might have had you in a third-party situation with the Three of Cups right there. Yeah, this person might have had you in a third-party situation for a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And the Ten of Swords, you could be dealing with a Gemini, um, Aquarius, or a Libra. Mm -hmm. Or you could be an air sign yourself. Yeah, somebody had you in a third-party situation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You stopped it with this person because you stopped it with this person because you know your value. You knew this was no longer um, something that you wanted to continue to tolerate. Something that you wanted to continue to be a part of. Mm -mm. Yeah, some of you have some of you have did your shadow work and you know your self worth. You know you are a divine feminine and you know you don't deserve to be second to none. Yeah, you felt this this was not progressing. This wasn't going anywhere. Okay. This person definitely could have been married with the emperor right there. With the emperor card right there. If they weren't married, it was definitely in a long term relationship. And honey, you felt enough is enough and too much is good for nothing. I got to get out of this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just no longer wanted to invest into this uh, situation that you felt was going nowhere. They miss you too. They miss you a great deal. Mm -hmm. Next to that, we got the Eight of Pentacles. This person is sitting there. Let's look at this card. Let's look at it clearly. Because this person is sitting there, honey. Look at that. Look at that. This person is sitting there thinking about... He ain't reading that paper. He in deep thought. He's sitting there thinking about all the fuck shit that they put you through. All the fuck shit that you tolerated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the past. They, they put you through a lot in the past. And they know it. They know it. They kind of understand why you got fed up and walked away. They kind of understand that. Yeah. But they're not letting you go. Mm-mm. It would be over their dead body. They're not letting that go. Not that easy. They're trying to figure out how to right this wrong. They want to put the work in to fix this uh, situation. This person is in deep thought about rectifying this matter. They're determined. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Earth energy. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. 
You could be earth energy yourself. This person is determined. They're sitting there in deep thought, like, how can I rectify this? How can I fix this? Yeah, you're having a very exciting adventure that's, that you're, that, that's coming your way, that you're about to embark in. What's this page of wands here? You're ready for a new venture and you're passionate about it. Something great, something is coming. It's like a new, new, and you're very passionate about it. Oh, God. And, and, and it could be a, a new business, a new career, a new job, a new a new man. Mm -hmm. Something that you're passionate about. Yeah, something new is being sent your way. Mm -hmm. With that page of wands, something new is coming. Ooh, baby, you got the ace of wands. You got the page of wands and the ace of wands. Something passionate is coming. You're about to embark on a new adventure with that page of wands. Something new. Something you're looking forward to. And this Ace of Wands, somebody is looking forward to you. Somebody's very passionate over you. Somebody has a great deal of passion for you. Mm -hmm. This person is very possessive over you. This person feels that you belong to them. This person is highly sexually attracted to you. They find you very sexy. Very appealing, beautiful. They get very nervous when they're around you. Yeah. They start stuttering and get all shaky when you touch them and shit. What the hell? They got a great deal of love for you, too. You got the Ace of Cups right next to that. Mm, 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 mm. Who be tapping into the day spirit? This person wants to start over with you with that Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They want to come clean. And they want to let it be known. This person is in love with you. This person feels that you belong to them. This person thinks about you sexually all the time. They think about all the positions that they want to, you know, have sex with you in. They want to give you their wine. Mm -hmm. This person want to give it to you good. This person loves you a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see the fish right here. This person might want to multiply with you. They might want to get you pregnant. You, they might have been talking about having a baby with you, starting a family with you. This person has a great deal of love for you. We got two aces. Aces is very good. This person has a lot of passion for you, and they're very much in love with you. This person ain't letting this go for nothing in the goddamn world. Hey, first of all, they've been fronting and lying with this seven of cups right here. This is my, my pretentious card. This is the great pretender. Nothing is not what it seems. They've been fronting and acting like they're not with it or not acting like they're not about it, about it. But yes, they are. Yes, they are. This person has been pretending like they're not in love with you. In the past, anyway. They, they're not doing that now. Now they're just acting stuck. Now they baffled. Now they're trying to get in touch with you. They want to know where you at. They can't find you. They can't talk to you. You won't set their phone calls. Or they, they, they don't have enough courage to come to you, but they want to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the past, this person portrayed some very confusing behavior. One minute they wanted you, the next minute they didn't want you. Or this could be your energy. It goes both ways. You know you know how that um, sometimes I love them, sometimes I don't kind of energy. Yeah, this is how they was either you, they were doing you or you were doing them. You know, one minute I want it, next minute I don't. Very confusing behavior. And again, that energy goes both ways. If it wasn't them, it was you. You see, things are not what it seem with this person. This is a great deal of pretending between the two of you. Somebody is faking the funk, not being honest about their feelings. Not being honest about what they truly want. Not being honest of how they truly feel. Mm -hmm. This person is also listening to other people. Listening to gossip. Yeah. Man, you shouldn't mess around with her. Da, 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 not good enough. You know, you shouldn't mess around with him. Not good enough, you know. Oh, it's only going to be a bunch of fuck shit. Oh, they only going to hurt you. They ain't no good. So-and-so used to mess around with them. Or so-and-so used to mess around with her. Man, I don't know. Girl, leave him alone. You know, he ain't nothing but a fuck boy. It's a lot of people in his ear. It's a lot of interferences, Okay. A lot of things is not what they seem because this person is very emotional over you. We got the temperance card coming. Okay, Sag Sagittarius energy, strong bond. Somebody got a strong bond with you. Whoever's here looking at my readings, now you know. 
if you hear a spirit sent you here, there's no coincidence when it comes to Virgo to Oracle. So if you hear this message is for you, my thing is whoever this person here that you are inquiring about or you feel this this resonates with, y'all got a strong bond. This shit is deep. It's hard to forget. It's hard to cut. It's like what the hell, you know? This shit is strong, and they want reconciliation with you. You guys may not be communicating right now. Nope. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're not. You may. You may not be talking. You may have not seen them in a long time, and this is really bothering them just as much as it's bothering you. Yes, their conscience is bothering them. This person. This person wants to. This person wants to come. They want to come and put an end to this. They don't like it. This person don't like not talking to you. They don't like not communicating with you. This person has to know what you're doing. They have to know who you're talking to, to or who you with, where you're going. They got to know all this. They might even be watching. Mm-hmm. 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 This is very disturbing to this person. This person is worrying about this a great deal. This person wants reconciliation with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're waiting for the right time to try to make their move because they definitely want you back. Yeah. You walked away from this person. You walked away from this person because it's what it wasn't reciprocating. It's, there wasn't no there was no reciprocity in this relationship at all. This is walking away from a very from toxicity in your life. This is walking away from a very toxic relationship. This is walking away from something that you feel was going nowhere. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You walked away because there was there, there was no or very little reciprocity. This person simply did not invest into this relationship. They they played with it like it was a game. Yeah, they joked with it. You know, like it like it wasn't, you know, important. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, they really didn't and they did not invest in this union at all. They didn't even see how much you meant to them until you walked away. Mhm. Mm now they realize now they want a commitment. Now they realize what you meant to them. Now they realize that they want you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they're going to do whatever it takes to get you back. Because, see, you walked away with all these cups behind you. That let me know you had a great deal of emotions for them when you did walk away. So your thing is, love be damned. I love you, but I love myself more. And I'm not tolerating this fuck shit. And you walked away. And you got that attention when you did. Because they didn't think you had it in them. Because remember, nobody does the emperor like that. Everybody kisses the emperor ass, including you. Who, who what makes you different? Why are you why are you not kissing my ass? Why are you not chasing me down? Why are you not wooing and, and gaga and goo goo gaga over me? I'm the emperor. You know what I mean? I'm emperor energy, male or female, it don't matter. Why are you not pining over me? Why are you not sweating me? Because you know your worth. As much as I love you, I'm not tolerating this fuck shit. And you walked away. You pulled back your energy. You shut it down. Okay, describe it the way you want. And you left their asses right there in that ten of swords. Now they're crying and pining. And now they want to give you everything they got. You got the ten of coins. Now they want commitment. This person feels that you already belong to them. This is why Brooks, they, they broke their heart so bad when you walked away. Because they already looked at it as... You was theirs. Remember the Seven of Cups right here. They was pretending the whole time, acting like they're not interested, acting like they're not glad that you want them or glad that you're in love with them or glad that they got you because they know you was cut from a different cloth. They know you was something different. They know you was something to have. Oh, no, but I can't show them that. I can't show them that I'm happy that I have them. I can't show them that I'm in love with them. No, that's a sign of weakness. I'm going to look like a nut. So they, you know, went into that pretentious mode, faking that phone. Like, no, yeah, I like you, but not like that. You know, I can't show no emotions. I can't show no feelings. You had them wrapped around your damn finger the whole time. Now they're ready to come and tell you just how much you had them wrapped. Now they want commitment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This person feels that you are already theirs. Point blank, period. They're ready to invest every goddamn thing they got into you. Now they want a long-term commitment with you. They're planning, uh, they're planning a future with you. They're planning for the future with you. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they got something to play with, too. This ain't no broke person. This emperor. This is somebody that's about them they money. This is somebody that's good in business and bad in love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They want to give you their all. And they want to do it right. They're going to offer you a stable commitment because they love you. They didn't get a chance to fuck you. They didn't get a chance to have sex with you. Some of you. Some of y'all didn't go all the way. Some of y'all never got to this point where, you know, they making love to you. They're loving you. They're with you all the time. Some of y'all didn't get to that. And they'd be damned if they don't get to that. They, they can't wait to get to that. They want that with you. This is a great provider, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be a, a Taurus. Could be a Capricorn. Could be a Virgo. Yeah, they want to make you an offer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They want stability with you. I'm going to pull some clarifiers to see what else we can get. One moment. Hmm. This person wants you. This person says, how dare you walk away from me? Do you know who I am? And you saying on the contrary, do you know who the hell I am? Do you know you should be happy to have me? Yeah, they know now. They knew all along. That's what had a Mac and Goofy. Okay, what you got, Spirit? Let your friends help you. Ask and accept support from others. Yeah, some of them are going to your friends. What's up with so-and-so? Have you heard from him? I haven't seen him. Who she with now? Who he with now? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This is exactly how you're getting their attention. You shut down that energy that you was giving to them and you place it on yourself. Which makes you look much more romantically attractive. We got wedding. This situation involves a marriage. Either your person is married or they want to come and offer you marriage. They want to come offer you a commitment. That's for certain. This person got something they're going to come offer you. Because they know that you deserve love. You're so lovable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They know what you are. They know who you are. They know you cut from a different cloth. They know they was sent, that you were sent to them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got to pay attention to the red flags. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the signs are cautioning you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What else we got, Spirit? What else do we have? I'm going to pull another one. I'm not going to continue with that one. Let's pull the angel. The answer angel cards. Okay, let's pull them. Spirit, we're going to have some more messages pertaining to this twin flame soulmate journey. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Within the next few weeks, you might hear something from your person within the next few few weeks. You know, they probably get uh, determined and possessive and, you know, try to grab you by the neck and say, Yo, what you doing? Where you at? Where you been? You better come say something to me or I'm going to act a fool. <laughs> you got no need to worry. <laughs> They're not going to act that crazy. But they are crazy over you. person is crazy over you. Yeah, improving their health. Some of you guys were sick. You wasn't feeling well. Your health is getting better. You're feeling better, especially since you walked away from this fuck shit. Some of you have really charged your battery, you know, shutting down and going within. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So a lot of you guys are in recovery. Maybe you weren't feeling well. Maybe you felt this was too, too, this was too much. This was too exhausting. This was too... Uh, overwhelming. Felt like you was losing yourself in this situation. Well, you're getting, you're feeling better. You're getting stronger. You're looking better. Only do it. Yeah, but you need to get more information about this or about this person than you are with this reading. You're getting more information. You're starting to recognize exactly what's going on here. Let's pull some more clarifiers. What do you think? Shall we? Let's look and see what else Spirit has to say pertaining to this union. How about that? Let's look and see what else Spirit has to say. Let's look at a deck we haven't looked at in a while. Okay. Let's try the, the Wisdom Oracle. How about that? We haven't looked at them in a while. We haven't got any messages from them in a while. Let's try and see what they got for us. What do y'all have for us? Spirit, can we have some messages, Spirit? Can we have some messages, Spirit? Spirit, give us some more messages pertaining to this. Thank you. We have co-create. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this person might want to start a family with you. You might have been talking about one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you guys shut down. We got time for a nap. Some of you guys shut down on this person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You said, you know what? This is overwhelming. This is wearing me out. I got to go. I'm losing myself in you, and I got to go find myself. So you pull back that energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we got serendipity. This person feels that you are their serendipity. They feel, they feel that you were sent in their life for a reason. And you were. And you were. That's exactly what you are to them. Thank you, Spirit. Look at honey. Yeah, this person feels that they want to offer you everything. Because you give them life. You nurture them. This person can't breathe without you. You walked away and literally took their breath away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They know a higher power is involved here. They know spirit is punishing them. Spirit is getting their attention. Spirit is saying, look, I gave you a gift and this is how you treat it. And this is how you, this is how you thank me. This is how you repay me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now they're feeling like a first class ass because they didn't expect this. Now they're feeling like a first class ass because they did not mean to cause you to leave them. They didn't want that. They not sure what they wanted. They just know they didn't want that. Mm -hmm. And some of you guys may be in a same-sex relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of you guys are in a same-sex relationship. Yeah. I see that here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We guys spread your wings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some the spirit wants you guys to recognize who you are, recognize your strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Believe and succeed. Some of you guys are on a new path. Some of you guys have bigger fish to fry. Some of you guys don't have time to sit here and pine over this relationship that's not going anywhere. Some of you guys have stuff to do. You don't have time to waste on this. So you're walking away. Yup, you got new vitality too. You got new vitality. You got new life. Again, some of you guys are in the same sex relationship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yup, your person is definitely going to reach out to you. This person is going to start missing you because you're busy. They can't find you. They can't reach you because some of you have things to do. You don't have time to try to, you know, make this work or force this to work. You don't have time to keep pining over this person. Yeah. You're fulfilling your mission here in this lifetime. Yes, you signed a contract with them, but you're not going to sit around and pine over them to acknowledge that contract. Yeah. You left this person feeling alone. Mm -hmm. And you're feeling like, well, you had me feeling alone for a very long time. The tables have turned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now they're feeling alone. This person had you feeling alone, but now they're feeling alone. They're feeling, they're feeling rejected. They're feeling like you walked away from them, like you don't want them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're feeling like they weren't, they um, wasn't the one. They, they're feeling like you really didn't love them. They're feeling like that, that it wasn't what they thought. Mm -hmm. This person thought they had your hook, line, and sinker. You showed them something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their ego is definitely bruised here. They had you feeling alone many a nights. Now they got another to feel alone. Mm -hmm. This person wants forgiveness from you. Mm -hmm. They want forgiveness. Mm -hmm. They want you to forgive them. They want to apologize. They want you back. They want to right this wrong. They want to correct this. They see your worth. They know what you are to them. They know how they feel when they're with you. And they know how they feel when you're not with them. They see the difference now. Mm -hmm. We got confidence here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This person is going to get confidence to come back and apologize. They're going to get confidence to come back and say something to you. Anything. Because you make them so nervous. You shook them up. You know, your pride, their pride and their ego get so discombobulated when it comes to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, they're looking deeper into their actions and they don't like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Their guardian angel is causing them to look deeper into their actions. And they're trying to fix it. 
I told you they was deep in their thoughts, trying to figure out a way. How can I fix this? No wonder they walked away from me. Yeah, you got blessings of abundance coming to you. Some of you guys are doing what you're supposed to do. You moved on with yourself. You're furthering your education. You got higher education. Some of you guys went back to school. Some of you guys have are in school, and you have to focus because you're trying to get your degree. You're trying to finish school, and you could not keep focusing on this individual here. That's for some of you, not all of you. Let's pull some more clarifiers, shall we? I think so, too. Hmm. Let's try Dorian Virtue Angel Therapy. Ooh, oh, them fell out. Okay. I think I will. Who's for pleasure? Spirit, can I have some more messages for the collectives? This is your tw baby. This is your twin flame. Who is you here for? Your twin flame. This is yours. The answer to your question involves a spiritual based romantic relationship. Boom. Okay. I can't make this up. Ain't no need to. Ain't no need to. Story tells itself. We got integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values and your inner knowingness of what's right for you. And that's exactly what's going on. You guys are standing in your integrity. You're like, uh-uh, you, you don't know my you don't know who I am, I'ma show you. You don't know my worth, I'ma let you know. I do. I'm not tolerating this, and I don't care who you are. I don't care what you got. They may kiss your ass and pine all over you, but I'm not. You never did. You never did. You treat them like a person that they are, not some object. Solar plexus chakra. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. And that's what you have been doing. So that's what you have been doing. You've been taking your power back. You gave too much to hell up, too much too soon. Mm. If you get nervous, focus on service. Put your entire intentions... Put your entire intentions on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. Talk about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and love and service to the divine. Yes, most of all of you guys. You know, I tell you guys all the time, when you have made a connection with your twin flame, it has opened something up in you. You guys are empathic. You're light workers. You guys are um, indigo children. You see, when you meet your, your twin, it activates that gift in you. Because remember, when you guys are together, you're very powerful. This is why y'all were separated anyway. And you was, you was sent to find each other later. You understand that? I hope I didn't go too deep on that. But together, you're powerful. You're more powerful than you are separate in separation, that's for sure. Spirit, can I have some more messages, please? Can I have some more messages, please? Can we have some messages from the magical fairies, please? Okay, we got holiday. The answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or a holiday giveaway, getaway. Some of you guys are going to take a little vacation. <coughs> or you already have. You're going to take a little getaway. Mm -hmm. Or you already have. Some of you guys have shut down and went away by yourself. Okay, it says be yourself. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self. Which is the basis for your personal power. Look at that. My favorite thing, a unicorn. Now, you know I got a thing for unicorns, right? You guys are my little unicorns because you're something special. Okay, you got affirmations to lift to lift up your thoughts and your energy and to attract what you desire. Use positive affirmations. Write your own affirmations if you don't know it. Use it. I will be successful. I will get what I want. I will buy that house this year. I will get my luxury car this year. I will lose weight. I will gain weight. I will have my baby. Whatever it is that you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are spiritual teachers. 
Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some of you guys are spiritual teachers. And you know, let me tell you something about being a spiritual teacher. When you are a spiritual teacher, you have to put yourself as a priority. Because teaching others is tapping into their energy. And sometimes you have to protect your energy. Because they will zap you dry. You won't have nothing left. And you know, you can't deplete yourself trying to help somebody else. Where they do that at? Yeah, so you have to protect your energy. So, you know, take your take your spiritual baths, burn your sage, wear your crystals. Because you guys are spiritual teachers. You guys are on this spiritual journey. And let me tell you something, you will learn something from it. You will have a story to tell when you're out of this fuck shit. Trust me when I tell you. Again, you got travel. You guys are really taking some trips. Uh, okay, up, upcoming trip. Proves to be life-changing in a positive way. Yeah, you guys are going on a trip. Let me know about that trip. Let me know where you go. Some of you guys are flying out the country. You're going to Europe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of you guys want to see Paris, London. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some fuck shit like that. Something is about to go down. Okay. Let's try the witch's wisdom. Let's try the witch's wisdom. What's, what spirit what you got to say? Using the witch's wisdom cards. Can I have some message? Oh, these are some beautiful cards. I haven't used these in so long. I forgot they were down there. Okay, we got the Watchtower of the West. Autumn. Something's going to go down this fall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something's going to come to light this fall. Something is going to uh, manifest this fall. Whatever you guys are working on. And you know, the fall is just a few weeks away. Okay, a good six, is, six to eight weeks away. Okay. We got uh, staff. We got stability. Yeah, somebody's going to offer you some stability, too. And, you know, a staff is like a wand, okay? Somebody wants to offer you their wand of stability. Somebody wants a stable relationship with you, and they're going to get it, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have cloak, con concealment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're hiding from this person. Mm-hmm. You put your cloak on. You don't want to be seen. You don't want to be found. You shut it down. And when you shut it down, they be worried. They be biting their nails. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They can't shit. This person driving past your house looking for your car. They asking about you. They might be sitting in front of your job, going to your mama's house, knocking on the door. They can't find you. Some of you guys didn't shut it down. You didn't put your cloak on. We got intentions. Why? You're manifesting what you want. You're manifesting this person to come back right, and they are. You're manifesting this, honey. You're going to get exactly what you attend out of this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got initiation. We have spirit. Spirit is helping you. Mm-hmm. Spirit is helping you. This is ordained by spirit. All this fuck shit is going down because it's supposed to. You were supposed to walk away. You were supposed to go through that go, go through that in the beginning of them not being involved, them not being interested, them, you know, taking advantage of your kindness and not appreciating you. You were supposed to experience all of that. You were supposed to walk away and crush their spirit. You had to initiate them into this thing called a twin flame journey. Spirit is in control of all of this. This has nothing to do with neither one of y'all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is done by spirit. Okay, let's look at some other. Let's look at another deck. What else do we got, spirit? Let's look at the sick for life. What do we got, spirit? Ooh. Okay, we got settlement. Somebody's expecting a check. Okay, ooh, somebody's money hungry. Okay. It's all about money for somebody. Yeah, somebody has a check coming. Somebody has a huge settlement coming. Or somebody is thinking about nothing but money. Somebody has been busted. Somebody has has been caught stealing money. Or, ooh, mm. somebody has been caught doing some dirty work, doing some underhanded shit. Maybe trying to steal your person's money. You know, this is breaking a contract. This might be that karmic. That karmic might have got caught. Going into their account, stealing some money. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with an entrepreneur here. Your person has plenty of money, whoever this is. Whoever we're just, whoever we're tapping into, this person does very good. If they don't have that money, they got the potential to get the goddamn money. They're seeing an advisor. They're seeing a lawyer. Because somebody is trying to take what's theirs. 
somebody has been taking what's theirs all along. This person is house hunting, trying to find their own house, trying to find a new house, trying to move out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Spirit, let me try one more. And then we are done. Mm, can I have some more messages, Spirit? Can I have some more messages? Mm, 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 mm. What's going on? This is your divine masculine. This is certainly your ma your masculine. Whoever you're here for, whoever you're, whoever is here, this is your this is your divine counterpart that you're on this listening to this reading for. It's yours. They're gonna take a new pathway. You, they're gonna follow you on your new pathway. Again, some of you guys have walked away because you say, "Uh, uh I'm not tolerating this," and you took a new pathway. And it's benefiting you big time. This person's very frustrated. They're screaming. They're hollering. They want you back. Oh my God, this person is really destroyed over losing you. Now they realize how much they love you. Yep, this is your soulmate. This is your person. This is your soulmate. They feel the connection. They know the connection. You feel it too. You know what you got here. You know who this person is to you. Yep, this person is going to come make the effort. They're going to come say, listen, I'm sorry. I want you back. I don't want this to be over. I need you. Come talk to me. Can we fix this? Please. Yep, you took a step back. You took a step back and damn near killed them. Lord, have mercy. Sweet Jesus. Yep, you got some hidden truth coming out. They're going to come tell you everything. They're going to come tell it all. Oh, should we do another deck, Spirit? Let me know. Okay, we'll do one more. We have celebration. Some of you got birthdays, holidays, surprises, proposal, event. You're going to be celebrating something. You got victory. Some of you guys are celebrating victory. Maybe you got a new job. You got a promotion. You got a raise. Yeah. You got something wonderful that's happening here. Some of you guys walked away and pulled back your energy, and it seemed like the world opened up for you. It seemed like the heavens opened up for you. <laughs> I mean, it's so much beautiful things started happening for you. I can feel the energy. You're just so much in a, you're so much happier now. You're in a much better place, for Christ's sake. Yep, you got communication coming in. This person wants to talk to you really bad. Oh, we got obsession. This person is obsessed over you guys. Okay, okay. Time. Waiting for the right time. Time and impatient, antsy. This person is very antsy. They got to see you. You got tarot cards. You're getting readings done. Finding out the energy right here. Watching tarot readings. Getting tarot readings. Yes, you are. You're doing one now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Spirit is letting you know what's going on here between you and this person. Mm, their ego is crushed. Fear, negative thoughts, feeling stuck and alone. They're, it's just their ego. Their ego is crushed. Okay? Okay? We got toxic lover. Being taken advantage of. Walked over. No control. Jealous. Possessive. This is why you walked away. This is why you walked away from them. Because you felt they were a very toxic lover. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you just didn't want any more of that. You said enough is enough. This is not going anywhere. You're not benefiting me. Let's try another deck. Let's try another deck. We haven't used it in a while. <sighs> Spirit, can I have some more messages? Can I have some more messages? For the divine feminine, divine masculine energies. Thank you, Spirit. If you have I am healing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of you guys are feeling much better. Your person is healing. Your person is trying to get their head together so they can come back to you correctly. Some of them are getting the answers. They're understanding. I know who you are to me. Yeah, they do. They do. They, they, they got a strange wake-up call, didn't they? Twin Flames again. This is the second time we've seen Twin Flames right next to Soulmate. Okay. 
What else, spirit? What else? I'm going to make it up to you. Yeah, this person wants to rectify this. They want to fix this. They're going to go above and beyond the call, the call of duty to fix this. They're not done with you. They're not over. I don't care if you haven't heard from them. I don't care if you haven't seen them. You will. Because they've been looking for you. They want to see you too. Some of you guys are missing in action. Some of you. Some of you guys, you know, want to see them. Some of you guys want to hear from them. But for those of you who have walked away because you was being mistreated, shit. They're going to come and hunt you down with a flashlight during the daytime. I communicate with you through music. You might hear songs that remind you of them. You might hear lyrics that you feel that that's them talking to you. Yeah, you're going to definitely sense it. You can, you can feel it. It's like an intuition. You know that's them sending you that message. Yeah, third party situation. This is what you walked away from. This person has somebody else and you're like, no. As long as you're with them, you're, you're not with me. And you meant it. Some of you feel that they are they have a very toxic partner that's controlling them. And they, they, they know they shouldn't be with that person. That person is walking all over them. What I said to you still haunts me. This person might have said something to you that they regret. They might have said something to you, to you that they feel like a first class ass for even parting their lips to say it. And they want to tell you they didn't mean it. They're so sorry. Please forgive them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because they didn't. This was too much. This was too much too soon. They wasn't expecting. They wasn't expecting you to react to, to them the way you did. Because they so used to everybody stroking their ego and kissing their ass. And you were the only one who treated them human. You were the only one who didn't tolerate their fuck shit. You didn't put up with it. You walked away. And you left all your love on the table when you did it. I hope you guys enjoy my reading. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. Okay, talk to you soon. Ashe.